Welcome to another episode of Poker Time. We're playing 510 Cash Poker. There's Stuart Younger. Stu Younger, as we call him. He's just made a big run in the World Series main event, actually. Six days he lasted. Yeah, call me when you make day seven, buddy. Yeah. Well, There's he won't be calling you. The dynamic. Yes, indeed. Danny, the dynamic. <laughs> Laughing it up. And here we go. Good flop for Stuart. I don't think Danny even is ambitious enough to try to do something here. I don't think so. Oh, Stuart checks. Well, he's maybe, maybe he's wow. no, he's not. See how fast Danny <laughs> checked that back. He's like, no, 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 no. I'm not doing it. So it's like, all right, I'll try and get value. Try to get value out of a queen or a nine or maybe a five. Hope you got something. Danny just knows not to mess around. That's that's why Danny is successful in these games. Is he's not just one gear. I mean, it looks like he's just one gear aggressive, yes. but he doesn't always take the spot every time it's given to him. Yep. He knows that people are going to give him a little rope yeah. and look for him to do it, and he does adjust a bit. Right. Uh, we'll probably, have probably leans a little more towards aggression than not. Yeah. Even so, but yeah. But uh, that's very effective for him. Absolutely. Danny with an actual hand. Sydney with an actual hand. Yeah. And he three, knows not to look back in anger. Danny just immediately folds the ace ten. Danny, who loves calling everything, interestingly enough, calls I mean, three bets with like six four and stuff. I think he's the type of player who prefers to call with a hand like yeah. six four than ace ten, which does have some philosophical merit to it. You know, ace ten is in bad shape against a lot of three bet range. I mean, as is six four. Yes, like, but but you know, he'd rather have ace ten against jacks than six four against jacks, right? Depends on the flop, man. <laughs> yeah, it depends on the flop turn and river. That's a great point. Yeah. Great, great point. Is he opening the king do suited? I mean, he's in the cutoff. It's fine. Yeah. We know people uh, love those suited kings, like suited anything's really. And there's the defend with queen deuce. This is why you open king deuce. I guess so. Easy C bet on this board. Super dry. Got Size the down. Door. Got backdoor spades too. Could have gone smaller, I think, even than 30. But 30's fine. It works. You may be wondering what that flashing number is there. That's a, the dealer. doom clock. Yeah. Time if until it, the world ends. It's, it's basically if it ever reaches zero, yeah, we all die. It's much like the um, the clock and lost. Mm -hmm. So we have to we have we have an intern always typing in the uh, the, s the string of numbers you have to type in mm -hmm. every 30 seconds, though, is what it actually is. It's not uh, it's not every like 36 hours or whatever that it wasn't lost. Meanwhile, Joseph takes down preflop with aces after Stu Younger. Put on the button straddle. That's a little disappointing for Joseph there. Yeah. What are you going to do? It's better than losing a huge pot. Am I right? I mean, of course it is. Correct. Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> That's correct. You know what they say about aces. You can't live with them. You can't live without them. <laughs> Looks like Alex has left the building for real. Alex yeah, was in our uh, who busted last uh, last episode has not returned, so I think we are going to be getting another player soon. Rough session for Alex. Yep, it happens from time to time. Don't let him trick you into thinking it doesn't happen. It does. If you've only ever had winning sessions, you might be living in a simulation designed for you. Mm. Interesting point. Yeah. Very interesting point. Very interesting. If you say anything with the word simulation <laughs> these days, then like Wired is going to report about it. They love that. They love uh, that shit. I'm just a little overboard, but it's okay. I'm just, you know, I pit bull all the stops this time. Sydney you know? puts on the straddle as well. There's going to be a fair amount of button straddling, I think, with this group. So it's going to be yeah. a lot of 5, 10, 20. Yeah. Which means bigger pots, more action, more money changing hands, more blood. I mean, actually, we're we're flying in blood. Flying because, yeah, in Yeah, we're blood. flying in it. We're having it airlifted in. Okay, good. I don't want to have to deal with the trucks of blood again. I, I prefer the... <laughs> <laughs> the helicopters yeah. are better. Yeah. 
Stewart takes it down with two sevens. Wash, rinse, repeat. This is not a recording. <laughs> <laughs> a doom clock is stuck at 14. I don't know if it's good if it's stuck in one number or not. Like, I think it's better than it continuing counting down to I mean, our you would, devastation. You, you would think, but I don't know. Like it just the, it's a little ominous. 14. I feel good about 14. 14. <laughs> Dude, don't get caught up in it. You'll start seeing the number 14 everywhere. I already is too late. It's like that Jim Carrey movie. Exactly. It did not work out, I feel like, that movie. I didn't see it. I, I think I saw it in pieces, and it was much weirder than you would think, is okay. what I remember. Like, much weirder than it seemed like it was going to be, in a good way. Anyway, here we go. Great flop for K6 here. Yeah. Also a great flop for Danny, for Danny who but did not bet. K6 turns the flush... Surprising to see Danny not bet that. Danny, you know, keeping it, keeping it, uh, keeping it real, man. It was only 50? I think he was checking. I think he was checking with the razor, though. Right. Oh, so was, Dan, was Danny the razor with sixes? Right. Who knows? We're I don't know. About. So I think Joseph had ace. We're talking about blood. Right. Of course we were. Only seventy-five. Danny, of course, is going to call this. Oh, a jack beats him though. Yeah. I think you can. I fold. didn't realize that. I thought it was just three spades. Yeah. Oh, he does call. Yeah, that's fine for 75. Yeah. No bomb you know you're losing a lot when you call there, but you it's know. okay. You don't need to win very much. So you just put the money in and uh, accept it. And then they bring the blood. That's right. They're like, Dude, is that airlifted blood, though? Is it <laughs> <laughs> if it's not through the air, I don't want it. Well, the thing is, you know, you're, you're acting like I'm being weird about this, but you know, like, the vibrations of the road, they damage the blood in, yeah. a, in a way that is okay for some purposes, but not for my purposes. <laughs> So is, is that straddle? a straddle? For I think it's yeah. probably a straddle. Yeah. No, it's a blind race. Or he. Looked. I think it's. A, I think it's just a race. He just looked. I think he looked, and we can't see his cards. <laughs> okay, that's <laughs> what. That's my guess. So it's a blind to us race. Yeah, because he would have straddled for twenty. Oh, yeah. Stewart gonna bump it up with king queen. Yep. K six wanted to play that hand, I'm sure. Now, what did Sydney open under the gun with? A champagne supernova, perhaps. Boy, that joke is just gonna. It's never gonna keep get, happening. It's never apparently. gonna get old. Sydney calls one thirty-five. That is a big. Three he looks bet. like the guy from Oasis. <laughs> Joseph really has to call here with nines. They are deep. Pretty good flop for nines. Nines kind of love hates it. You know. Yep. It's like I have to call, but do I want to? <laughs> I feel like you you can't really just check fold, and of course by check calling, assuming it goes this way, Stuart though checks it back. And nines must feel pretty good now after well, everybody checks. Well, if Sydney checks again. Yeah, Sydney so could have tens or jacks. Yeah. But now we know nines are very likely to be the best hand. It's time to deny some equity. Absolutely. And I can't imagine anybody sticking around. One down. Sydney want to get a little frisky? I don't know what he... I don't know how that would make any sense to get frisky here. Yeah. He really wanted... He's thinking... I think he's thinking like Joseph just doesn't have many eights. Yeah. But Sydney doesn't have many eights either, of course. You play the man, not the cards. <laughs> it's like, can this guy really call with like two nines or two tens? Like that's sort of the, or that's what he's got to be thinking. Or two sevens. That's you know. I mean, it would be a terrible spot with two nines if you got check raised there. You yeah. have to really follow through with your read and be like, it doesn't make any sense. I have to call this and the river, and I'm gonna hate my life the whole time. Nothing wrong with hating your life the whole time. Well, that's the way. Danny ain't folding 6-5 suited, I'll tell you what. The only question is if he's putting more in, and he is. He's putting more in. This is... Unless... Oh, Sydney has not folded yet. Oh, Sydney has a hand. Danny has run into it. It's... You know, you could just call against Danny and nah. hope that he blasts off, but four betting makes more sense. Danny likes to call four bets anyway. He might call with this hand. They're deep. 360. I don't think Danny's folding for 230 more. I'd be shocked. Yeah, you can see he's reaching for it as we now are getting a... There we go. There's the call. And let's go. Sydney's in pretty good shape. It says he K6 is. called. That's incorrect. Yeah. Just Danny called. That ace high is already sadness for uh, gut shot for Danny, but that ace may get him a way to win this pot. Let's see. What do you do here, Sydney? You just have to check and hope. He check, does check. Check call. Well, Jan Danny wow. checks right back, and he picks up a flush draw. Well, I mean, Danny was the first to act. Oh, you're right. Um. Oh, he checks again. Is Danny check raising here? He might be check raising. 
Is Sydney even going to bet now? I don't even know if there's a lot of value in betting now. You can get yeah. called by a nine or something. Maybe. maybe. Another ace. Now That's Sydney, a great, can, great Sydney can definitely bet for value. Danny knows not to take a shot here. I got to give him a lot of credit. You got to bet for value if you're Sydney. Hopefully you get called yeah. by something like fours, something like yeah, that. Yeah, it could even be like tens. You know, Dan- Danny three bet and call the four bet. He can have tens and jacks. Then he shows it and folds. What a turn card for Danny, though. He has the gutter. He's got the flush draw. He's going to get called if he bets the river and he gets there. That's yeah. for sure. Really safe ridden river for Sydney, though. Mm-hmm. Especially when Danny checks again. Sammy, oh, one. looks like a new player. It's a new player. We hey, did it. Don't get too excited. It's just oh. some, some guy's going to play poker, all right? Just relax. Wow. I am excited. Mu- it's just too much. I'm excited. And you're not going to tamp- people. The people can tell you're not being genuine. Wow. So wait, is it you don't want me to get too excited or you don't want me to sound don't, excited? Don't pretend to be too excited. Don't try and tamp down my passion because, you know, I don't fake it. Everybody knows you're faking it. <laughs> <laughs> this is real. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's a guy with a hat and uh, earbuds. So exciting. You are really a bad person. And wow. you, do not, you should not have this job. You should be fired from this job for saying things like that. You should be excited about the players who are here instead of putting them down. I'm not what kind of person are I'm you? I'm not putting him down. I'm putting what you, oh, it's da- a I'm guy putting you a, down. It's a guy with a hat and earbuds. earbuds. Oh, he must not be special. Blah. I didn't, That's, you I didn't implied say, it. You implied it. I'm strongly. saying you don't know anything about him. I don't know anything about him. <laughs> Let's not pretend anything. <laughs> I'm just saying we got a new player, and I was excited. To I, I'm happy to have a new player. You don't sound happy. I'm you not, sound, I'm you not sound gonna, like your job is to make other I'm not people sad. Rent one of those sky riding airplanes about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Um, you don't get this content anywhere else. No, you do not. You do not get this at the uh, on Poker Go. <laughs> I'll tell you what. <laughs> Oh, and yet another player. All right, let's go. See, I'm happy. Call it's the Skywriters. Call them. So you don't want people to play poker. You're the anti-guy. You're anti-people. I'm the anti-person <laughs> person. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. That's fine. You be you. I'll be me. You're so dark. You live in such a dark world that you can't even fathom the idea of someone being excited about, oh, we've got a new player. But I, like the audience, are excited to see I something think, like that. I think if the audience is listening at all, They'll understand that the original premise that I stated is yeah. correct. Which you're, is what? You're faking it. I'm, I absolutely am not. Mm. I absolutely am not. But mm. God knows. <laughs> <laughs> but being cynical is free, so I guess you can do it all you want. Ooh, that was good. That was a serious that burn. That was, wasn't really that being good. Being cynical is free is pretty strong. Come on. So you could, that, that's something that sounds like you're being clever, but yeah. if you really think about it, it's like, it's not that great. <laughs> it's really not that great. <laughs> It sounds really good, though. You can say that about anything, <laughs> not just cynical. Like you can right. just insert a word there. Yeah, you're well said, great. Oh, anything that's free, you could say is free. That's really super smart stuff. Great analysis. I'm glad we have you on this show. Can we fire this guy, Congratulations to, to all of the audience to? for witnessing the end of the poker, guys. <laughs> Who do Very I have proud to talk of you. to get rid of this guy? Hey, anyway, K6 yeah, okay. open. <laughs> open to 50. I hate it when other people do this on, on their on their poker commentary, yeah. by the way. Ignore the poker and just like laugh at stuff. Well, we wouldn't have if the, anything was happening. But that's true. But they were just they were just getting the new player set up, and then there was a raise and take Okay, it. fine. Fine, you're right. But still, I, I don't like it when that happens. You know what would be really cool? Hmm. If Stuart just like lit on fire. <laughs> <laughs> that would be exciting. I, I was thinking it would be cool if he like elbowed K6 in the face really hard just out of nowhere. And then, and, then went right ba- and then went right back to just playing poker as if it was very normal and nothing had happened. That would really, that would really set us aside from the other poker shows. Exactly, exactly. That's that viral moment we've all been looking <laughs> yeah. for. Anyway, so um, is that a straddle on the button? It looks like Lee is one of our new players and the other yeah. one is named Damien. Yep. Damien with the real hand. And the straddle, and he's going to defend his straddle. Sure. Sydney opened. And wow, great flop. For Welcome Damian. to the table, Damien. Sydney definitely going to take a shot yeah, on this. Yeah, this is a this is a board you're going to rep. No. Oh, my goodness. Maybe there's a physical tell. I don't understand. Does he think the cards are a little too connected? Uh, it's a little too uh, dynamic, I guess. Wow. I mean, I... That's that's an impressive check yeah. fold. I mean, I know it's eight high, but like that's your board usually when you're the opener. You expect a continuation, but especially well, when you have no equity. And just the straddler defended. Yeah. They defend so wide. You figure he gets so many wins there. Maybe he also thinks though, like maybe he knows this player and he knows like Damien's going to check back a lot of things here. So, you know, like because because the ace high board is so much better for Sydney's range. Uh, so he could take a shot in the turn. Maybe yeah. or maybe maybe Sydney does have some sort of physical read on Damien and saw caught something there. Yeah, maybe. 
Danny with a this is basically aces for Danny. I'm not going to support you anymore in anything you say. All right. I when have you started? Like when <laughs> <laughs> Is it diamonds only one diamond? I think this is a mandatory check call for K6 against Danny. Well, there's the gotta check. Got to peel one off. Halfway home with the check. We saw him fold tens in a spot where it was surprising, so I don't necessarily expect that he's going to call. This but hey, he, he makes does the call. call. By the way, you could also check raise this pretty you comfortably. Could. And Ooh. that's a good card. If we had check raise, we could continue yep. <laughs> on that card. But we could. Oh, and it goes check check, and oh well, we have the best hand. Make a six. Uh, it looks like we're going to go for thin value here. I think it might be better to let Danny do the betting for us. It's understandable that Danny might have like a four here. Check back and then call because yeah. spades miss, basically. I think Danny's folding a lot of fours and ace highs, though. He kind of goes by feel in spots like that. Yeah, so why do you think his feel would be to fold? I don't think he expects K6 to be bluffing him too often. Ah. Fair enough. Which I think is correct. Yeah. Yep, just put him in there real quick, and then you can pull him back out. That's a button straddle from Stewart. Still not a flame, but, you know. I I think I have a good name for Stuart, good nickname. He already has one. What is it? Stu Younger. <laughs> oh no, that no, that's his name on the thing, but a nickname like that's Danny a nickname. Has. No, no, like Danny has, the blister, <laughs> the blood blister. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, right? Yeah, yeah, he'll love that. <laughs> the blood blister. He kind of looks like one with that 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 top he's wearing, right? He'll love that you said <laughs> that also. <laughs> Anyway, ace king versus sixes, and we're never going to see a flop with this. Here it comes. Dealer. Dealer, <laughs> my God. Ace king gets there. Come on, Jonathan. This one's probably going to be it. Our dealer is named Jonathan, to be clear. Um, Lee with an easy bet and an easy win. Welcome back to Lee Stack and Chips. Yeah. Looks like Sydney's doing an oyster shooter or something. Or I think it's, I'm going to say it's a jello shot. They have jello shots here? Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, they've kept that from you because we know what you're like. You know, I like my Mardi Gras atmosphere. Yeah. Give Grant like three jello shots. He's like, Shh, I got beads for everybody. Yeah, where, do they have beads? Do they have beads? <laughs> of course they have beads. Okay. It's like we're making a trip to Portland Meadows. <laughs> Joseph's going to open with the Rockets. Second time he's had aces this episode. The That's weapons of mass destruction. They are. And will he get a call? He gets folds again. That's wow. twice in an episode. He gets aces twice. He gets all folds. Frustrating. Not even. He can't even get to three bet and at yeah. least win something. You know. Yeah. I mean, he gets to win something, but he wins. I guess thirty-five dollars. Like you said, it's better than losing a big pot. Absolutely. Get to pick up the change, loose change on the street mm. with those pocket aces. Blood blister. <laughs> he's about to pop. Exactly. He kind of looks like he's about to pop, like emotionally. I mean. Well, yeah. That's. Look that's, at him. That's clear. Look, look at him. Oh yeah. God. Look at the darkness. <laughs> I mean, the Joker is right there in front <laughs> of us. <laughs> <laughs> Danny's never folding this hand. I don't know if he should. I think it's when we're this deep. It's, it's fine. Hmm. So he might put in the three bet here. This is a pretty good hand to do it with. Yeah, K6 has not been too active, which might stop him. But nope, he's going to go for it. Yep. It's the type of hand that you're supposed to do it if you're one of those theory guys. And Sydney's got that theory guy vibe. Oh, for sure.
Got all sorts of nicknames flying around here. Oh yeah. Like the blood blister, the dynamic, Lily. <laughs> Lily. <laughs> yeah, Lee is Lily. Uh King Six and uh the guy with the hat and earbuds, as you like to call him. Yeah. We call him Damien because that's his name. Because he has a name. He's a person, Grant. But you don't care about that. Right. And so you're the guy who nicknamed Stuart the blood blister, <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Actually, I started with the blister, but quickly it found a better <laughs> one <laughs> than the blood blister. The pus-filled blood blister. <laughs> I don't know. It's filled with blood. It's not filled with pus. Well, it could be both. You could have a combo. Oh, well, I guess it could. The, yeah. pu- the blood and pus blister. <laughs> <laughs> the pussy blood blister? Yeah. Nah, it's too much. It's too much. That, he's got to earn that one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's still just the blood blister. Oh, I hope this catches on. It won't, but I hope it does. Everyone, you know, call him the blood blister. We do have that power in Portland. Digital Dan is yeah. absolutely referred to as Digital Dan right. by everybody in everybody. Portland. Everybody. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah, we came up with cool. that on what episode one of Poker Time or something, something like that. Something like that. Yeah, I think literally it's the first episode. Damien with a nice looking hand. Going to open on the uh, button straddle. Danny looks like he is cutting out some three betting chips here. Yeah, yeah it looks like two, 225. Big like three that. bet. With kings. the kings. Kings. Ooh, and Sydney is ace Uh-oh. king. This could get dirty. Rut row. That's a, that's a race. Is that 700? Looks like it. Today was going to be the day that they're going to throw it back to you. I don't think Damien can call. No, he wants to. I know. He like feels the pull, the gravitational pull. I mean, Jack pull. Ten of Hearts is a very nice hand. Let's see if it would have won. Because I assume Danny's never folding this Danny's hand. Danny's moving in. Yeah, we get it in right away. Good, Big yeah. pot. Look at the size of this pot. By now, you should have somehow realized what she ought to do. Uh-oh. Just got to dodge some stuff here. Oh, oh Danny. Sydney gets Danny is there. devastated. Oof. That is a huge pot. Sydney now with a big, big win wow. on the day. Sydney does it. Not much you can do against Danny other than that, right? I mean, like, once you make it 700, you can't fold. Oh, n- I don't think so. And you kind of have to four bet that hand when Danny three You bets. have to four bet that hand, and I do think you have to call. But I don't think Danny's, like, moving in very often with, like, ace, queen, or worse. I, I will I say agree. that. I agree. I'm not saying it's a good spot, but I think once you make it 700, yeah. what you do have to do. Yeah. So like it's just it all kind of happens automatically. I do. I agree with you. And Danny is certainly the guy. If there's any guy at the table who we we would even ever, there's we would never consider folding to him. Yeah. There are other guys we might consider folding to, but probably wouldn't have made it 700. I don't know. It's it's such a big pot, man. Like you make it 700, you got 2.6k total. You still got 1900 back. And look at that. Sydney's now up 2.8k, and Danny down 1.7. Yeah. Just with that pot, I mean, I guess we could talk about should Sydney consider flatting there ever? No. Against some players, perhaps when when oh maybe when, against, when first against super tight is in super tight three betters yeah. especially like if K six three bet, who has not been three betting much at all. If if we're aware that he's a very tight three better, yeah, then I think we could at least consider it. But actually, probably a four bet is still better to isolate the yeah. player most of the time. Get the jack ten of hearts out of there. Yeah, Ace King really wants to be by itself with one one other friend only, most of the time. And it does want to see all five cards, so, you know. By itself with one friend. <laughs> yeah. It does make sense if you really let it sort of waft through you. We're going to see some Lee content here. About L- time. Limps the deuces. Danny says, no more Lee content. Is Danny it just 80, though? Because he's getting called. Damien with another nice suited connector. Yeah. We cannot fold this for 60, and he will not. Nobody has a card higher than a nine. Hey, welcome to the table, Lee. Makes a check. Danny checks right away. How does he know? No, not to continue. He's dancing between the raindrops. Check again, Lee. Actually, it's a good time to bet. It is. You should bet, but, you know, no. it's like Danny gonna. really can have trip queens. <laughs> as as could Damien. Yeah. Damien's more likely to have bet on the flop than Danny with a queen, probably, but still could have checked back a queen. Those guys have a lot of trip queens there. Danny even more so, I would say. Danny just like he has ace queen, like that's such a clean yeah. check, I think, for him. So it's too bad for Lee. No one had anything. Lean, crisp. Yeah. Round on the edges. It's like uh when your laundry comes out of the dryer. Yeah. Clean and crisp. When you put it in with the blood. 
right? Well, when it comes out, though. Yeah, you put it in the dryer with the blood. Yeah, and then it comes out. Yeah, it's all after. crispy, the crispy blood. <laughs> Sydney with the rays. And there's a call. Queen Whoa, four. It's ugly. But it's a head. But is it a head? Because it's actually percentage-wise not a head. But is it a head right now? Hold on. Let me answer that. Oh, it's still a head because he calls. calls. Wow. How did he find the call there? And the jack comes. That does bring a draw for K6, but also give Sydney the best hand. So he checks it back, and it's going to be very hard for K6. K6 might, yeah, take a shot here. Makes sense. Well, it's not going to work because there's a 10 making a straight. It's a good try by K6 there. Ambitious call on the flop, but I'm glad he followed through, especially on that scary board. Yeah. Just Sydney happened to have it. The clock now stuck at 16. See, it's getting better. It's it's getting yeah, I mean, if, if up is good. Like, we don't know for sure. <laughs> If it we, gets we to assume, 60 or 0, we don't we know what happens. We assume 0 is bad, but we don't yeah. know that. Maybe it's uh, the best. Maybe. Maybe, it's, uh, Maybe that's how many alien spacecraft are coming to attack. Wow. 0 would be good. So if we just wait, it'll go down to 0? Yeah. Well, I hope that's the case. Danny cutting out some more ammunition. Ace-queen. Nice hand. Stewart does not put up a fight. Wants nothing to do with Danny. <laughs> the blood blister slinks away. <laughs> <laughs> Deflates slowly. Oozes a little pus. I think Stuart might be a little upset about the blood blister. Well, that's on you, man. What, how is that on me? You came up with it? Yeah, but we propagated it together okay. as a team. You know what? If you're going to be that, it's really up to what Stuart thinks, you know? Yeah. I think if you can convince Stuart with your bullshit argument, then congratulations. I think he, Stuart is going to say, well, we expected Jonathan to say things like that, but you could, you encouraged him, Grant, and it's, so it's your oh, fault. Oh, I absolutely encourage That everyone him. now calls me the blood blister everywhere Stuart, in the city. Stuart, let me be clear if you're watching, and I think you are. I hope people start calling you the blood blister. There it I is. I think it's great. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> me too. <laughs> okay, here we go. Three ways. Ooh, that's a good flop for Joseph, but he's yet again probably going to get no action with a big hand. Yep. Can he induce anything from anyone? He's trying. K6, no interest in taking a shot here. Got to take a stab here, but I don't think there's any chance of getting called. I think we actually are on the river. We are. There's the fold. Yeah, I think it was an eight on the river. In fact. So... We don't have a nickname for Joseph. I mean, he's Joseph's not a regular on the show. He's played like two or three times. That's true. You kind of got to be a regular to get a nickname. That's true. Fair enough. Fine. Maybe Sorry. someday. Someday Joseph can Sorry, get some Joseph. sort of disparaging nickname that he doesn't want. <laughs> That's It's a badge of honor, man. We'll see if Stuart feels that way. Yep. He might we challenge you to a cage match or something. He's known to do There's that. There's been a lot of talk about who would win in a fight between me and Stuart over the years. Is, has there really? There has been. It's interesting. He's got the youth. He does. But I've got the wisdom. <laughs> you also have a great fear of physical harm. <laughs> so does he. He, he has even more. Oh, he made. does? Yeah. Okay. We actually talked about this um, recently, me and him, about the idea of actually like doing a boxing match and having there be like a purse. And he was like, 50K minimum. <laughs> I was like, 50K? Just to like get punched in the face like with a glove? You know? yeah. 50K minimum. I'm like, man, probably, probably not going to be able to raise that much money. It's good to it. avoid physical harm. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I wasn't going to do it for real. unless I guess for 50K, I would do it. If you thought you had an edge. I'd, get, I'd be happy to punch Stuart in the face for $50,000. Some the thing just said that Stuart folded ace ten of hearts. I don't believe. No, that was his. That was his hand last time. Okay, that makes more sense. Oh, we got some pocket pairs out here. A little queen jack action. Queen jack flops the gutter. We don't know what Damien has. Damien likes his hand, so I'm going to guess he's got at least an ace here. Most of the time. Danny's going to call with the gutter. Try and take the shot. Damien, you put your cards in the box. That is that not is the flop. Nope. There's the. Sydney was already out, I believe, because he does not. So he did not have a set because he folded the flop. Do not. Tilda Swinton is doing a great job. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. 
All right, here you see, we're figuring it out here. We're getting there. Okay, we're close enough. Close enough. Close enough. Except for we don't know Damien's hand. That's true. Damien checks. Weak ace then, maybe? Danny just checks it right back. Surprising. Seems Damien like checks again, and is Danny going to take a shot? Maybe Damien just has a 10. He does take a shot. Yeah, the flop was ace 10 3. If you've got an ace and you know anything about Danny, you got to make the call it's here. An easy call. And he calls. I assume he's going to win. Well, yeah, he, I, surely he can beat queen high. It's wait, we can. Oh, oh, oh gosh, that's yes. a big ace. Wow. I'm surprised he didn't bet the turn with that hand. Yeah. Well, I guess maybe he was trying to let Danny do his work. Yeah. Well, the check again, I guess the spades came in on the river, so that's a reason to check. Danny did his work. To the tune of ninety five dollars. It's a lot of Chipotle, baby. Yeah, it's a lot of freaking the hangover special commemorative Blu rays. Yeah, yeah, it's like three of those. Yeah, well it depends if it's signed. If it's signed oh, it's like it's one. It's one half of yeah, one. Yeah. If you're lucky. You can find what you could if you find someone who's like got it well, I don't want to give away all the stuff here, but Right, because we have a big collection of these <laughs> things. The market is gonna explode. <laughs> Collectibles, man. That's where all the money is in the future. You guys should know that. Right, we're good. You know? Anyway. Let's, we, 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 let's not talk about that. Let's you come back to the You know what's really a, a, a gem of my collection? It's the, the movie Congo on Laserdisc. Oh, the it's, ape is so good in that. Yeah. I mean, is that a real ape? It can't be. But on it, but on it has to in be. the Laserdisc version, it is. <laughs> That's not what I thought you were going to say. Laserdisc, huh? yeah. not Blu ray. You have a laser disc? Yeah, you know the giant record player size. Of course I do. Yeah. The pre DVDs. So Joseph raises the ace two suited and the hand ends. Excellent. The hand has concluded and we are moving ourselves on it's probably to another one. More worth talking about laser disc than that hand. Is it? I'm not sure. Have you seen a laser disc? They're amazing. I have seen them. They look like really big records that are silver. And yeah, they're basically giant CDs. Yes, that's another way to say it. All right, we got the straddle on the button from Damien. Red hat guy, as you like to call him. I never once called him that. You sort of did. <laughs> Lee's going to raise for the first time at the table. He's got ace queen. Small raise, Whoa. never never getting through. Nope. Damien I understandably calls with king do suited on the button when it looks like k6 is probably going to end up in there as well. Absolutely. And there's a king for two players, two of our... Special players. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that came out weird. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is Damien going to bet here? It's very reasonable to bet here. You'd expect he'd want to deny a oh little wait. bit of equity. Oh, Lee betting. Oh, Lee's going to see bet. This is a dangerous board to see bet. Yep. You don't block anything except for king, queen, and ace, qu ace king, which are you not never You're never up against likely. ace king. Yeah. So it's really just king, queen. There's the call, and k6 going to join in the fun with the best hand. I got to imagine Lee's done now. He does improve, but it can't feel like he really improved. Yeah, you'd want to have the ace of clubs here to even consider anything. He checks, and will Damien bet a second time? No, I... Or actually, he didn't bet the first time. I'm imagining this is going to check through, and we're going to have well, a chop pot. And we do. It's a chop pot, and people are okay with that. People like a chop pot. Sometimes. People are fine with it, but... Some, some people feel good about a chop pot, I think is the phrase. That is the phrase, and the phrase that you're going to hear now is, yes. that's the last hand. We'll see you next week for some more poker time. Will we? Is that what we're going to say now? I don't know if I'm ready to say that. Okay. You can just keep no, talking. No, 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 no. I'm done. You're right. All right. Bye. See ya.